students in this part we will study the certain functions related to the eye its controlling parts and then the eye defects in the first functional part of the eye is accommodation accommodation now what is it the students accommodation is the function of adjusting the curvature or focal length of the eye lens which is performed by the ciliary muscles like you see if the object is at a large distance then at that time the light rays coming from it are almost parallel to each other they are required to be converged by little amount so eye lens should be thin in that case and in another part if the object is nearby the light rays from it is diverging so it is required to be converged by larger amount as a result the eye lens should be thick so according to the distance of the object the accommodation is of two types that is first of all for distant vision distant vision this time the the eye lens eye lens is thin less converging power now in this part you see that how does it happen then ciliary muscles relaxes as a result suspensory ligament like you see you have studied students that is this is the eye lens on this part there is the ciliary muscles suspensory ligament again on this part here that is the structure like this then in this part you see that ciliary muscles relaxes suspensory ligament pulls the eye lens outward as a result it becomes thin and its converging power gets decreased this is called accommodation for distant vision now second is for near vision near vision this time as you have this uh, we have discussed earlier that for distant vision the eye lens for near vision sorry for near vision the eye lens should be thick because the light ray from near object are diverging they have to be converged by large amount so eye lens should be thick how does it happen in this case you see that is if this is the structure this is the structure now ciliary muscles contract forward the base of ciliary muscle is on this side contracting it is uh, indeed on this side outer so ciliary muscles contract forward it pulls the ciliary muscle suspensory ligament so the eye lens becomes loose as a result it becomes thick that is its converging power is increased so students you see that if the question is asked name the structure that helps in accommodation of eye then it is ciliary muscle and another what is the function of ciliary muscle to change the curvature or focal length of eye lens and hence it helps in accommodation of eye so this is accommodation the next part point related to the controlling function of eye is adaptation 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 the process of adjusting the size of pupil to control the amount of light entering into the eyes depending upon the availability of intensity of light now in adaptation the size of pupil is adjusted so which structure will perform this function so iris 
helps in adjusting size of pupil size of pupil pupil now students you can observe it is of two types first of all now suppose we study dark adaptation dark adaptation now what does it mean suppose we enter from bright sunlight to a dark room or you have often observed suppose you go to a cinema hall and you are late by few minutes the doors are closed the lights are inter internal lights are uh, switched off now when we enter you will be unable to see the things around you like the seats are not visible clearly the path or the way is not clear means for some times your vision gets disturbed what is the reason when you were outside where there is bright sunlight at that where at that time the size of pupil is pupil is a smaller to constrict the excess of light entering into the eyes at the same time the visual purple pigment was not present it was bleached so when we enter into dark room now it has to be adapted how does this adaptation take place then gradually to allow the sufficient amount of light rays the pupil dilates and visual purple visual purple is synthesized and hence after some times it will be there will be clear vision you will be able to see things around you clearly this is called dark adaptation now next is the bright adaptation or light adaptation bright adaptation now in this part we see that when from dark room we come out in bright light then suddenly due to the dilated pupil presence of visual purple and excess of light enters into the eyes due to which very very bright image is formed that is glare is caused and again the vision is disturbed but gradually it is adapted now what happens in this part pupil constricts pupil constricts to control the amount of light rays cut off the amount of light rays entering into the eyes and next visual purple visual purple is bleached or decomposed now gradually the vision becomes clear so this is adaptation so just you see a students here that what is adaptation of eye the process of adjusting the size of pupil to control the amount of light rays entering into the eyes depending upon intensity of the available light is known as adaptation one more <coughs> term comes here that is called a stereo scopic vision also known as binocular vision binocular vision what is it the ability of the two eyes focusing together on the same object is called stereoscopic vision or binocular vision it gives us idea of correct distance and depth of the body that is three dimensional vision this is the unique property of primates or we can say that is the apes monkeys chimpanzees gorilla human being in these organisms or just we can see for say for the human being our two eyes are placed on the front side of the face 
and they have parallel principal axis. The two eyes move simultaneously up and down, left or right, and the two are focused simultaneously on the same object. This is called a stereoscopic vision or binocular vision. Now, students, one more term is related to the general function of the eye that is known as after image. After image, also called persistence of vision. Persistence of vision. Now, what does it mean? Persistence of vision means the even image is formed, image of an object is formed on retina. Its impact remains for about 1 upon 16th. Just remember, don't be confused with 1 by 10th of a second. This is not correct. This is the persistence of hearing. So, the persistence of vision is 1 by 16th second of a second. 1 by 16th of a second means the impact of an image remains on retina for this period. It means that in one second, 16 distinct images can be formed on retina. But if the speed of image formation is faster than it, then the images formed on retina overlap over each other. It gives idea of a continuous image, live picture, which is the idea of the motion picture in which 24 more than or about 24 images per frame per second is formed on retina such that everything appears that it is going in a live way. This is called the persistence of vision or that is a stereoscopic vision. Students, now we start eye defects that is the defects with which yeah, from which our eyes get affected. There are few types of eye defects and we have to study here them one by one. There are two common types of eye defects. The first eye defect is near-sightedness, near or short-sightedness, sightedness. That is also called myopia. Students, if you will study this topic in paragraph, then it is difficult for you to learn, to uh, remember every point because there is another type of eye defect also. So, just try to study it in a simple way. If you see here, sort means near, sightedness means having. So, from the meaning of this word, it will be quite clear to you. You will never get forgotten. For example, short-sightedness, ness means having, means the person is short-sighted. That is, person can see, person can see near objects, nearby objects clearly, objects clearly but cannot see distant object clearly distant distant objects clearly now students you see in book in general it is given uh, uh, that is cannot see distant object i have just used that word clearly it means that the image will be formed, but not clear vision will be available. It will be blurred. So, from this word, we come to know about its definition. Now, students, as you know, 
that if the object is at a large distance, then the light rays from it will be coming parallel to each other. Since we are able to see nearby objects, means eye lens is thick. At that time, it has more converging power. So, the light rays from distant object are converged in front of retina. That is, image is not brightly or clearly formed at retina. So, we can write here, light rays, light rays from distant object, distant object converge, converge in front of retina, in front of retina. Now, what will be its cause? So, what is its cause? So, just you a student, you see that in first part we have uh, studied its definition. Second, what happens in this part? Then there is a cause. The eye lens becomes too curved or convex. That is its converging power is increased. Second, eyeball elongates, elongates from front to back, front to back. So, this is the two cause of the uh, nearsightedness or myopia. Now, students, in the question paper, uh, there will be the diagram of defective eye given and then the related questions are asked. That is, uh, identify the eye defect, you will uh, name for it. Second, what is its cause? Third, what is its remedy? And then draw the corrective diagram. So, now if the eye lens is thick, means its converging power is increased. Like you see, Suppose that there is a diagram of defective eye. Now, suppose slightly bulging outward. This is the eye lens. Now, this diagram will be given in the question paper. The light rays from distant object is converging in front of retina. Now, the eye defect is myopia. If this light ray is slightly diverged, then it will be able to meet at retina at that is it is slightly diverged to in order to meet at retina so what will be its remedy use of convex sorry use of concave lens of suitable focal length suitable focal length now you see focal length or power or power now suitable we uh, we use the term suitable focal length because the different persons will have different uh, capacity different powers are required so their focal length will also be different now the next question is asked draw the diagram of a corrective corrective diagram of the defect again you will draw like this just you see a students here uh, you should not draw the size of lens a smaller, it should be quite bigger and in front of it, just close to it, not more away, you will draw the concave lens, con uh, diverging lens and then when you take these two rays, it must be close to the principal axis because the light rays have to be diverged. So, if you will draw it on the outer side, it will go outside and forcibly, if you want to uh, allow it to converge at retina, then in, in, uh, in place of diverging, you will draw it converging. So, that will be uh, wrong. So, it, the light rays are taken on the inner side. Now, it has to be diverged. Now, just diverge slightly. By keeping a scale, just move it outward like this. Suppose we keep the scale like this. Just bend it outward and draw the line. 
and then finally they are converged at retina on this axis so this is the myopia now we'll be able to fetch complete five marks related to the question and frequently this type of question is asked now the second type of eye defect As students on the similar basis you will be able to uh, answer for the second type of eye defect that is far sightedness far or long sightedness sightedness that is termed as hyperopia Hyper, hyperopia the old term for it was also used as hypermetropia so in many books you will find this term also hypermetropia now again similar to this topic long sightedness means having that is the person is able to see distant object clearly but cannot see nearby objects clearly that is the light rays from distant object are converged at retina but light rays from nearby object which are diverging if converged by same amount then it they will meet behind the retina that is person can see distant object distant objects clearly but cannot see nearby objects nearby objects clearly clearly so this is the far sightedness or long sightedness now light rays light rays from near object are converged are converged behind retina behind retina so this is the uh, points related to it now again students in the similar way we will have to study its cause again two points converging power is decreased uh the lens the lens becomes lens becomes less curved less curved curved or less convex convex and second eyeball shortens eyeball shortens from front to back front to back so these are the two causes now students just you see since the light rays are converging behind the retina so they must be converged more in order to meet at retina yani earlier so what will be its remedy remedy use of convex lens of suitable focal length so just your student you see you have studied about it in three points and now according to these points in the question there will be two diagrams one the defective uh, diagram the uh, diagram of defective eye in this part you see the light rays from nearby objects are converged behind retina hence the image will not be clear how has to be corrected the light rays are required to be converged furthermore in that case what will be the corrective diagram 
इन करेक्टिव डायग्राम इन करेक्टिव डायग्राम वी विल ड्रॉ अ कॉन्वेक्स लेंस क्लोज टू द आई टेक द रे फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट and remember the ray should be on the inner side of this eye lens not more outward now by keeping the scale like this just bend slightly inward bend inward that is further more converging more converging and then it is converged at retina thus we see that in these four to five points you will be able to understand the two basic uh, type of eye defects that is myopia and hypermetropia now there are another eye defects third presbyopia presbyopia this is the aging defect aging disease you have often seen that is in a older age more generally after 40 to 45 years people generally need reading glass they find difficulty in some paper work in reading uh, a small letters then they require the spectacle it is similar to far sightedness it is another type of far sightedness but the cause is different so if we need it in a older age add is required for the older age then we uh, it is known as presbyopia just i have told you that the cause is different so what is its cause due to loss of power of accommodation loss of power of accommodation of ciliary muscles that is in older age gradually our ciliary muscles get tired it is unable to change the curvature of the eye lens properly so we find difficulty in uh, seeing the nearby objects so in that case it is corrected by use of convex lens of suitable focal length focal length or power so this is the aging eye defect students now fourth type there are some more another aging defect is cataract cataract in a general term uh, or in hindi it is also known as motiya bind what happens in this eye defect in older age sometimes an opaque membranous layer is formed over cornea sometimes the cornea or the eye lens itself become opaque the light does not enter inside it properly so it has to be corrected by surgery corrected by surgery surgery that is the either uh, opaque layer is removed or if cornea or eye lens has become uh, opaque then it has to be transplanted by the eye donated by or yeah, from eye donated by another person so this is also the aging defect these are two are the aging defects next astigmatism astigmatism in this eye defect this uh, may be uh, this will be generally uh, inborn due to the uneven curvature of the cornea what does it mean at some place the layer of cornea will be thick and at some place it is thin so the light rays falling on different regions of cornea will not be simultaneously converged at the same point 
means the light rays from one part of the object is converged at one direction, another gets converged in another direction. As a result, the image is distorted. As a result, it, it is required to be converge all the light rays in a central region of the cornea such that they can converge simultaneously. So, the, it is corrected by corrected by cylindrical lens cylindrical lens uh, in many people like in even in children's you have often observed that they are wearing a spectacles with very thick glass actually they are suffering from astigmatism now next color blindness color blindness students we have studied uh, this eye defect in genetics chapter that is it is genetic disease genetic disease in which the person is unable to distinguish between mostly red and green colors we have studied it in genetics chapter that the gene for color blindness is located on X chromosome and is recessive in nature. So, mostly male suffer, mostly male suffer from the defect, from the defect. Mostly male suffer from the defect. Female suffer rarely because they have two X chromo sex chromosomes and if one of the suppose if their one X contains defective gene then this is called carrier carrier female and when both the X chromosomes contain the defective gene then this will be color blind female color blind female the reason is that the gene is recessive in nature so, it appears only when it is homozygous in combination. Now, the next eye defect is night blindness. Night blindness is also known as xerophthalmia. It is due to the deficiency of deficiency of vitamin A that is retinol. Now vitamin A the visual purple is not synthesized properly so the vision in dim light is affected. It is the nutritional deficiency disease so it can be corrected by taking vitamin A rich diet. Now the last eye defect students that is called a squint. This is also a structural abnormality. Suppose we have the two eyes. When we look in mirror, our uh, this black portion or iris or pupil are uh, moving simultaneously. That is, they have parallel principal axis. But in some people, we find that these two black portions are either on the outer side like this when the uh, these uh, parts are iris are on the eye outer side then this is called wide eyes that is the two eyes are focused outward or sometimes it is on slightly on the inner side like this so they are focused like this that is the principal axis cross each other this is called cross eye so there are two types of a squint, wide eyes and cross eye. In this eye defect, you will find that the person is talking to you. But it seems that he, he is looking some, to some another person. Now, it can be also corrected by either surgery, by placing the two eyeballs are in position. But generally people do not adopt this method. 
but up to certain extent it can be corrected by physiotherapy that is forced practice exercises to focus the two eyes on the same object so as students these were the different types of eye defect now summarizing the previous uh, part of the video related to eye it is quite clear to you if you go through the topic uh, video and again revise your book once every question given in the exercise will be clearly answered but if you have any problem uh, even after that you may go through comment box or contact us directly thank you